Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I think this is my absolute favorite video of the month. It is the featured seller members video. So that is where I feature the bolos of the members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So um, let me show you what I'm talking about. And if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen one of these if you're not. We're what, on the fourth month now? So super exciting. Uh, let me pull up my screen share. So if you go to any of my videos and you hit the join button, this is going to pop up. And basically my channel is completely free, but if you want to join memberships to get perks, you can do that. And for $1.99 a month, you get um, loyalty badges, and you also get um, custom emojis. For $4.99 a month, you get to be a part of this video, which is my favorite. So I get to feature your bolo in a video. And it's super fun. It's super cool. And if you don't know what a bolo is, it is an item to be on the lookout for. So basically, I reach out to you. I ask you for some information. I'm going to ask you where you got the item, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. And then I'm going to feature it in this video for everybody on my channel to watch. Now, this is great if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel or if you just want your eBay store featured because I'm going to put that information down in the description of the video. And if you have a YouTube channel, I am going to share it um, in the in the tabs. You'll see, you'll see it popped up. I just had something fly on me. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The next level is $9.99 a month. And with that level, I am going to share something of yours on one of my social media platforms. So that can be a shout out on my YouTube channel. That can be a share in my Facebook group. That can be a share on Instagram, something like that. So I'm going to, basically, I'm helping you guys grow either your YouTube channel, get um, views in your eBay store, grow your Instagram. It's basically, I'm advertising for you. And the final membership is new, and it's a big one. It's the Bolo Featured Member. So that is where I create a whole video about you. And you guys have seen me do these videos. They're called the featured seller video. And that is where I feature one person. And I have been doing these pretty much since I started my channel, but I have decided to bring these into membership. So um, basically what you would do is you would pay $49.99. So you would, it's basically you would join for one month and then you would downgrade back to the membership level you were at. So that's how I'm going to do it. That's the best way I can think to do it. It's just basically a one-time fee to get that video. So you upgrade your service or your membership for one month and then you downgrade. So if you're interested in that, great. If you're not, no worries. It's just um, a great way to get exposure for your store and your YouTube channel or whatever in a featured seller video all dedicated to you. I'm going to share that across all of my social media. I'm going to share it on my community page. On my other channel, it's going to go on Instagram, Twitter, both my Facebook groups, basically anywhere that I have social media. So, all right, let's get started with the video. All right, you guys. So the first, and you guys, you're going to want to watch to the very end because these bolos are absolutely amazing. And when I say amazing, I mean amazing. Amazing. So um, that is why I love these videos because I learn so much from all of these resellers and their YouTube channels are amazing. So please be sure that you guys are subscribing to all of them. The links are down in the description of the video. I'm also going to pop up their channels so you can see what the channel looks like. Um, but yeah, definitely Bolo Finders, definitely awesome reseller content. So definitely go check them out. All right, let's get started.
Um, let's get the screen share back up. And, oh, we got some bing bongs going on. Facebook notifications. Yeah, I love that StreamYard now hides all notifications. So that's great because it used to be they used to pop up. So that is an upgrade for StreamYard. All right, you guys. So the first bolo is Franklin Hill Ventures. And his YouTube channel is new. Let me make sure we're up here. Yep, we are up and running. All right. So definitely go over and give him a sub. But you can see he's got some what sold videos. So definitely go and check that out. He's at 24 subscribers. So let's get him to 100. All right. And wait until you see this first bolo. It is impressive. So the fun thing about this, he found this inside of a book that he bought in a bunch of books at a garage sale. So he buys a bunch of books at a garage sale and he's flipping through them and he finds a bolo inside the book. How cool is that? So this is an antique Hires Root Beer baseball scorekeeper. You guys, check it out. How cool is that? This sold auction for $228.59. He did have free shipping on it. But have you ever seen anything like it? How cool is that? So definitely a bolo to be on the lookout for. I mean, I don't imagine I'm ever going to see one of these. But if I do, I'm going to know that I want to buy it. So... And I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to forget that face. I'm just, I'm not. I mean, look at that. Are you going to forget that face? No. All right. The next YouTube channel is Thrifting with the Joneses. And there's no content yet, but they do have a Facebook group. So definitely go over to the Facebook group. I'm going to try to remember to put the Facebook group down in the description because I typically just put the YouTube channels. But um, if not, just uh, look on Facebook for Thrifting with the Joneses. Check out their Facebook group and YouTube content will be coming soon. So check out this bolo. Are you ready? I feel like I'm going to be saying that on all of them. It's a Speed Racer t-shirt. Oh, wait, I didn't tell you about the books. Hold on a second. He paid $10 for the whole box of books at the yard sale. And he also found a ticket stub inside the books that he sold also. All right, sorry about that. Okay, back to the Speed Racer. Okay, so this Speed Racer shirt came from the Salvation Army. Are you guys ready for this? 99 cents. Get out of town. Are you kidding me? 99 cents? And it sold for $375. So this is a vintage t-shirt from 1992, you guys. $375 it sold for. Is that amazing or what? Wow. I mean, it is a cool graphic, I, I must say. So Thrifting with the Joneses had that one. And they do a lot of clothing. So um, you guys don't get clothing from my channel. Not a whole lot of clothing like this. So um, check out their Facebook group because they do talk about clothing. And there was one thing that he was talking about that I noticed in his Facebook group the other day. And it was something that he was saying that other YouTubers tell you to stay away from. That he encourages you to check out. So go to his Facebook group and check out those brands because I was a little surprised by it. And actually, he was showing his solds. So, I mean, there's something to be said when somebody shows you that they're selling the items. So definitely go check that out. All right, Donatella Bottolino. And she has a YouTube channel where she does selling events. And you guys have seen on my channel me doing the unboxings of things that I have bought from her. Well, guess what? Coming soon, I bought another Dibble box. And this was kind of like a man box. 
And I told my husband about it. And I think, I think, not promising anything, but I think he's going to unbox it with me. So you guys may get to see my husband and I doing an unboxing together. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, are you ready for Donna's bolo? Because it is like, whoa. Um, yeah, wait until you see it. So Donna sold this Chanel tweed purse for $1,500, you guys, $1,500. She picked this up at a closet clean out bulk buy. So I'm not really sure what she ended up paying for it, but, um, she does a lot of buyouts and um, estates and stuff like that, storage units. And that is how she is able to have YouTube auctions and selling events all the time. But every once in a while, she'll throw things up on eBay, which I'm thankful for because she is able to be a part of these videos because she does that. So this Chanel purse was a rare find and she sold it for $1,500 on eBay. So very, very cool. So definitely check out her selling events. Again, I have a dibble box coming, which is basically a reseller box. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And um, I'm excited to get it. So stay tuned for that. All right, Philly Flipper. And he did start a second channel. So I think it's down in the description of his video. So make sure you guys check that out too. It's where he's doing his live shows. Um, he is a bolo finder. Are you ready to see his bolo? And I haven't seen this video yet, but I want to know what he's drinking there. Um, he just released it eight hours ago, so I haven't caught it yet, but he's drinking something. What does he have? Who drinks? Is, is it a lemonade? Could be a lemonade. You guys have to go check out the video to see what he's drinking. All right, let's see. This vacuum. I'm going to tell you right now, I would not have bought the vacuum because I would not have wanted to ship it. But it is a Kenmore Model 116 with a HEPA filter. It does look cool. I like the orange. It's very, very uh, cool looking. And he sold this for full asking price of $125. And it sold for, um, sorry, $125 in three days. That's what I wanted to tell you. It sold in three days and he got it at a thrift store for $15. Okay. Niche Quay Thrifter does not have a YouTube channel. So I want to tell you guys that this is her eBay store. And it will be linked down in the description of the video. And she has awesome stuff. So take a minute and go down and check it out. And we're going to keep moving right along. But I just wanted to tell you guys that since I'm spending a little time on all the YouTube channels. And I love this bolo. It is so cute. It's so unexpected. I never would have picked this up and looked at it and thought that this is a $75 bolo item. She sold this little clown for $75, you guys. So it's an Eden plush clown. Would you guys have ever guessed? Let me know in the comments if you would have thought that this was a $75 clown. I, I just think it's unbelievable. I mean, this has got to be like, when I look at this video, the bolo of the show that I'm like, I can't believe it sold for that much money. I think it's amazing. So good for her. And I, I love it. It's awesome. And that looks like or best offer to me. OBO or best offer. Is that what you guys see? That's what a reseller sees, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, she got it at an estate sale for six bucks and it sold for 75. I would have been like, you want six dollars for this clown? Are you kidding me? Well, I would have been wrong. So, um, yeah, awesome. Awesome bolo. Okay, a little bluebird, and she's thrown up some content here and there, just little short little clips, but you can definitely learn for her, from her, so definitely go check her out. And 
here is her bolo item. This is embroidery paint and paints can definitely, definitely be a bolo. And she picked these up for $23. I know she got like a big lot. I think if I remember correctly, it was from a thrift store. And she took a best offer of $95 and these sold in less than a week. Now, um, she could have parted these out and probably made a little more profit, but we talked about it because she's like, what do you think? Because she got a whole bunch of other things with it. And she's like, what do you think? She's like, I'm thinking I'm going to do bigger lots just to try to move it quickly. And I was like, yeah, you could do that. And so that's the route she went, you know, just, it's like you either like just do big lots and move them quickly, or you do smaller lots and you wait a little longer. So, um, and you do more work. So she went with, I'm going to sell it in bulk and move it quickly. So, all right, it's all goods. And she's more just showing how things work here. So, um, the cookie jar. This is Lizzie McGuire, the comedy series, and she got this at a garage sale for 10 bucks and she flipped it for 100. So it says Disney here on the bottom. It is made in China, you guys. So I know sometimes if I see made in China, I'm like, oh, it's not vintage. And then I'm like, I wonder if it's worth anything. And, you know, I second guess myself if I see made in China. If I see made in Japan, I'm like, oh, it's old. It's a bolo. So just because it says made in China, you still should sometimes look things up. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's not, it can't be a bolo. So um, made in China typically means it's probably a newer item, but this was definitely a bolo item and it even has a little chip here on the ear and it still sold for $100. So definitely, definitely a cool bolo item. All right, Danielle. Um, yard sales and dreams is at 983 subscribers. You guys, she is so close to a thousand. Please go sub her up. Let's get her to 1000. All right, you guys, she sold this little vintage star Wars princess Leia blaster gun. Are you ready for $75? One gun, $75. Yeah, if you can identify them and prove that they're real and authentic and you know they are, they are big money. Um, she got a huge lot and she has a video on it. Um, it is actually right here, this one right here. If you go check that out, you can hear all about it. And then this is the follow-up video if you want to know even more. So if you're into the Masters of the Universe stuff, you definitely want to check those videos out. Um, so again, that's an awesome bolo. Okay, Toledo Antique. They are our, we will spend money to make money couple. And they sell a lot of glass and really fancy antiques and vintage items. So they have really, really uh, great different unique items. So definitely check them out. Here is an example of I will pay a lot of money because I'm going to make a lot of money. Check out this clock. How fancy and cool is that? So they paid $450 to an antique dealer for this old clock, but it sold for $1,199. So, um, again, you know, they just know what they're looking for. They know what they're willing to pay for something and they know the margins. So, um, definitely somebody to follow if you want to learn about vintage and antique things. They also do selling events on their channel. So definitely very, very cool. Reseller life or reselling life. She changed it up here. Um, butterfly hustles and she is just a bolo finder. And you guys, I have now sold five or six straw hats because of Butterfly Hustles. Um, Carol taught me about straw hats and I'm loving it. Every time I find them, I buy them and they sell super quick. So super excited about that. Um, so definitely go and check her out. And she sold this urn. 
It's like um, got some flowers on it here. And I think, does it have, I thought I saw a butterfly, but maybe I'm just thinking I saw a butterfly. So it looks like it's just flowers. No, no, she, she's got butterflies in the title. Okay, now I'm like, am I seeing butterflies or am I not? I don't know. But anyway, um, she sold this for $104.62 and she's paid $5.49 at the Goodwill. And, <laughs> excuse me, Vista Algary, I've never heard of that brand. Portugal, I, I got to say, guys, I probably would have walked right past this. What about you? Um, but yeah, she got full asking price for it. I mean, she had it on sale, but full asking. So pretty cool. All right. Mindful recycle is next. And, um, she's definitely a bolo finder and I love watching her videos because I love the stuff she sells. And, um, she actually just sent me a mystery box and she gave me like clues for each item that she sent me. And this is the video, it's right here, it says, wow. So um, what I do is I unbox it, I pop up screen shares of everything that I listed from the box, but you guys, she sent me a box of bolos. You gotta go watch it, it's amazing. But um, I asked everybody to go and sub to her. She's already gotten 65 new subs, so everybody, let's get her to 500 subs. So keep the subs coming and go check out this video right here that says, wow. And yes, that's Lisa Frank. So go check it out. Um, but super generous, super nice of her. She was just being kind and sent me an awesome box. I called it buddy mail. She sent me buddy mail. And um, it was super fun to do the clues and try to figure things out and just really, really neat items. So, and super educational because I look everything up, I list everything and it taught me some bolo items and then I teach you guys. So it's educational also. So check it out. Okay. Here is her bolo. This is a Ralph Lauren comforter, pebble path, retired king size with flowers. And I just want to say that the presentation of this photo i mean with it on the bed the bed is made like it looks really really nice so i think that you know that helps to sell the the actual item because you can see there's no stains on it it just looks really really nice um she bought this for ten dollars um i believe it was from an estate sale and she sold it for a best offer of 150 and she said it is a retired print all right, we have the thrifty nurse next. And I'm looking at this, what sold. It says turning 400 into 4K in one month. And you guys, this girl is a nurse. And I think I'm pretty sure she's full time. So she is working super, super hard. So full time nurse, family, reselling on the side. I mean, she is having a YouTube channel. She has got to be so busy. So please go over and show her some love with a sub. Her channel's pretty new, but she is throwing out some good content. So go check her out. Um, and she is a bolo finder. Check out this Mercari sale. She got this Pillsbury Doughboy calendar from the Salvation Army for 10 bucks. It was missing one of the um, numbers. So she ordered that from eBay for five bucks. So she's all in for 15 and she sold it for $100 and $36. So pretty cool little bolo right there. And yeah, Salvation Army. Isn't it cute? Super cute. All right, Chosen Goods Reseller. All right, let's talk about Chosen Goods Reseller. So Carissa and I did a video here. Let me zoom in. I was a guest on her channel and we opened a mystery box from auctions for you. It was a toy box and um, it was a lot of fun, but we were cracking up. But anyway, there was this bunny and I looked up comps on this bunny and it wasn't the exact bunny, but I'm like, that bunny's a bolo. 
And we have this whole discussion about this bunny. But you guys are going to have to go watch the video to see what I tell her to list the bunny for. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, anyway, Carissa sold the bunny. And she sold it for $21.09 plus shipping. <laughs> and the bunny sold, oops, the bunny sold, I think, within 24 or 48 hours. It sold super, super fast. And... I was pretty sure that it was a bolo based on the comps, but I could not find the exact bunny. I couldn't find any comparables. But she paid $50 for the box. She flipped this bunny super, super fast for $21.09 plus shipping. So I could have been wrong. We're moving on past the bunny. <laughs> okay, auctions for you. Her store is down right now because she is in the process of moving, but I did want to grab an item just to feature it. Um, she does YouTube auctions and selling events, sometimes has buy it now, so definitely go check her out, but she sold this Olay Thermal Pedia, Pedia Cure foot treatment. <laughs> I almost said that wrong. I'm still distracted by the bunny. Um, but anyway, these items, you can sometimes pick up at garage sales. She didn't get hers at a garage sale. I think she got hers at a bulk buy. Um, but definitely you can find these things at estate sales and garage sales. This one happens to be new, um, but you can find them. So be on the lookout. And if they are retired, no longer making them, people will pay up. So she sold this for $29.95 plus shipping for some foot treatment, you guys. 30 bucks plus shipping. Crazy. I mean, I don't know what that stuff is for. I mean, what does it sell for at the store? I don't think I've ever bought foot treatment. <laughs> All right. The next one is Vandy's Closet. Melissa and Melissa's taking a little bit of a YouTube break. But I'm sure she'll be back, so give her a sub. And she sold these Salvatore Ferragamo. Ferragamo, I can't say that. And whatever brand it is, they sold for a hundred and fifty dollars. And let's see, where'd she get those? Um, she got those at the Goodwill Bins. So she bought those by weight. Check out this picture. That's kind of cool. Sizely. Hmm. I've heard of that, but I've never seen. Um, that's cool. That's interesting. Wonder if anybody like pays attention to it. Clever. Okay. Um, so it sh she shows the bottom, and you can see, you guys, even with all the wear, that's amazing. One hundred and fifty dollars. And so if she bought them at the bins, she's probably got a couple bucks in them. So very cool. All right. Be carried away. 30 into 585. I haven't seen this one yet. So definitely got to go check that out. Now, I really, really like this next bolo because I wouldn't have picked it up. It's a grandpa sweater, she says. I love the keyword grandpa. Um, so it's an alpaca wool sweater. Uh, here is the, the brand. It's Parker of Vienna, I think is how you say it. Um, but the thing is, is she didn't even put the brand in the title. So apparently the brand of this shirt or this sweater is not what's important. It's not going to sell the sweater. The important things are probably that it's alpaca wool. And I think that maybe keyword grandpa is important. I don't know. She's good at keywords. Um, her channel is just loaded with knowledge on vintage items. Um, definitely, definitely learn a lot from her on, uh, like, look, she, she's very descriptive. She has very, very, um, descriptive, uh, what do you call it? The description is very, she has a lot of detail in the description. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, me, I put the title and then I put 
see photos. <laughs> I'm not descriptive. So, um, and you guys can do whatever works for you, you know, but she does a good job of that. So if you want to learn keywords and stuff like that, her channel is a great channel to follow. Oh, and she sold it for $125.99 and she bought it at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and she had free shipping on that. So pretty cool bolo. This one is also hers. So now we're going to work our way backwards through the through everyone and I'm going to show you another bolo item and we're just going to work quickly through the bolos. So um, bolos only, no interruptions. All right. Um, Let's see. She got this t-shirt for $2.99 at the Salvation Army. It is a single stitch, but it's a, what's it say? A native tan tanning oil. So it's just an advertising type deal. And it sold for $79.99. How cool is that, you guys? Single stitch tee. That, that's $79.99. I, I can't say I would have known that. That's awesome. All right, and this one is Vandy's Closet. I think this is stunning, and I am shocked. I, I think, like, if this would have been, like, eBay auction, it would have went for, like, $6 million. <laughs> okay, I could be wrong, but I think it's stunning. Um, I think it would have been a good auction item, but I don't know. I'm not, I, I just know some of that vintage lingerie over on eBay can go, like, crazy. But I don't know, is there a brand? I know brand is important. Um, I don't know. I should ask my friend Leah. She is like a pro at um, nightgowns and stuff. Like she knows a lot about that stuff. But it's just, isn't it beautiful? What do you guys think? Anybody know a lot about nightgowns and stuff? Let me know what you think. I think it's beautiful. But $60, definitely a bolo. All right, this one is the um, Thrifty Nurse. And she got this at, oh, the nightgown came from the bins, which I can't believe she dragged that out of the bins. That was stunning. Uh, Thrifty Nurse, Power Rangers, uh, thrift store, and a yard sale. So some of the items came from each, and she had about $10 total in it. She did say that, she thinks now if she would have parted this out, she probably could have gotten more money. She ended up selling this for $76 plus shipping. And it's a mixture of different toys, Power Ranger toys and dinos and ninjas and different toys. Um, it looks like, I don't know if some of those are, yeah, I was going to say some of them are vintage. Yeah, she probably could have done better parting it out. But, you know, that's how you learn, right? Um, so I'm guessing somebody probably messaged her and said, hey, I would have bought that for this or somebody told her, but um, that's okay. She still made a nice profit and that is how we learn. I have done it also. I have undersold something and, you know, you kind of kick yourself for a minute, but then you're like, you know what? I'll know for the next time and you just move on. All right. This dollhouse miniature set. Super cool. Came from an estate sale. She paid $10 for it. This one belongs to Mindful Recycle. And she sold it for $147. How fun is that? So vintage dollhouse furniture most definitely can be a bolo. This one is all set up like it's ready to go. Every little piece is in its little place. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like a real house, right? $147. Wow. The next item, this one is Chosen Goods Reseller. This was a consignment item. So she consigned this for someone. It is a Samsung Smart Things Hub 2 generation and it sold for $64.29. It is an open box. It's new, um, but the box is open. So $64.29 plus shipping. So definitely something to bolo for. I have found things like this at thrift stores that are still in the box, but have been opened and definitely a good thing to pick up. This little Barbie is um, Butterfly Hustles. It's from 
well, it says 1966, but I think that is just the patent date. Um, because I don't think, yeah, I don't think she's that old. That's just the patent date. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody can let me know in the comments. But I think that's a patent date, not the date of the doll. Because I don't think the 1966 had the rings on their fingers like that. She's a, a newer one. That's what's confusing about the um, the Barbies. Because they do have, they are stamped that way. But that's just, yeah, a patent date. So it is confusing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the person buying that knew that, I'm sure. <coughs> so she got this at Value Village for $1.50. And it sold for $63.38. It is darling. It's a little um, Eskimo Burnett. Um, that's the color of the hair. Uh, Barbie doll. Super cute. Super cute. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one like that. So cute little outfit. All right. This one is Yard Sales and Dreams. And again, this is the Castle Grayskull from the He-Man. This is Masters of the Universe. If you don't know, M-O-T-U is Masters of the Universe. I did not know that for the longest time. So that's what it stands for. Kind of like Bolo stands for Be On Lookout. So anyway, $10 she paid for all of this uh, Masters of the Universe stuff. And this she took um, a best offer of $160 for um, this castle. So really great find. And you guys, she's getting an extra one because I just couldn't help it. I had to share this photo. Um, it's just a bread and butter. But she picked this up at a junk store. I don't know what a junk store is, but a junk store for a dollar. And she sold it for 25 How fun is that? So it's a woman with a big beehive hair putting on lipstick. Pretty fun, right? Yeah, 25 bucks for that picture, you guys. So old photos, usually the black and whites are the ones that sell. This one uh, caught me by surprise a little bit, so I wanted to pull it and show it to you guys. Um, but definitely cool, 25 bucks for that. All right, the next one is It's All Goods. This is a Monopoly game. She got it at the Goodwill for $2.99, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. So that one is used, you guys. So it's not even new and it still went for that much. And it's the Supernatural Join the Hunt. So it's one of the um, specialty monopolies. It's not your standard, just monopoly. So definitely scan that barcode when you see the, the ones that are specialties. So this one is a little bluebird and this is Death Note complete box. I believe these are DVDs. I've never heard of Death Note. I don't know what that is. Is it DVDs? Or no, wait, are these, these are books. I'm sorry, not DVDs. These are books. Um, let's see. Uh, so maybe it's more like anime. Yeah, maybe that looks more like anime. So, um, I don't know, but Definitely be on the lookout for it. She got these at a garage, uh, I'm sorry, a yard sale for $40 and they sold in less than 24 hours for $180 with free shipping. So that's a fast sale. This one is really interesting. Uh, Nish Quay sold this one. It's a trinket box. She got it at a thrift store for three bucks, took a best offer of 65 so it's just a silver plated trinket box. Um, I usually pass on silver plated stuff, typically. So I probably also would have passed on this. Um, but I don't know. Uh, she sold it for $65, so that's awesome. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I would love to hear you guys' comments on the different items. Um, because it's just so interesting on what different people pick up because I wouldn't have picked this up and look, she sold it for $65. That's awesome. 
So I, I would have missed out. And now I know that maybe I should be picking up silver plated trinket boxes. So that's what's great. And Philly Flipper picked up these shoes and a storage unit. So he paid, um, let's see, paid 30 for the unit, over 100 items in the unit. So cost of goods was around 25 cents. Did I read that right? Yeah. And he sold the shoes for 180 and he paid about 25 cents for them. These are the Nike, not Nike, Nike Air Jordan Ferrari, Retro Ferrari 2014. There you have it. <laughs> I don't know. People in their shoes, people love shoes. I guess I'm not a big shoes person, so I, I don't know, 180 for a pair of used shoes seems crazy to me, but people love them. 180 bucks, free shipping. Super cool. Especially when they were 25 cents. That's definitely a bolo. All right. Donatella Bottolino sold this Eileen Fisher denim jacket. It came out of a storage unit. It was a new old stock item. Um, it retailed for $238. Um, I have seen her talk about Eileen Fisher at her um, auction. She has actually sold a lot of Eileen Fisher at her YouTube auctions. This one she happened to pull and sell on eBay. It sold for $75 with free shipping. So Eileen Fisher is a Bolo brand, I guess. I don't do a lot of clothes anymore, but I'm going to say $75, not too bad. Gucci jeans. This one was thrifting with the Joneses, sold this. He picked these up for $4.99 at the Salvation Army. And I'm pretty sure that his wife and him are a team. They do this together. So when you go over to their Facebook group, um, I'm pretty sure you'll be interacting with both of them. But... <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, he picked these up, or she, one of them, picked these up at the Salvation Army for $4.99. They sold for full asking price of $210. Could you imagine going into a thrift store and getting a pair of Gucci jeans for $4.99? Remember, they also found the Speed Racer shirt at their Salvation Army for $0.99. Cents. That's a good Salvation Army. All right, um, Franklin. Um, I don't want to mess it up. Franklin Hill Ventures also sold this Yadro, Yadro, Yadro. I think I'm saying it right. Yadro. Did I get it, guys? Poodle with basket of apples. You ready? Well, you can see it. You ready for what he paid for it? Antique Mall, 20 bucks. $20 guys. And it sold for 293 on auction. Huh? So funny. And he actually got, I think two others at the same antique mall. And he actually, uh, did very well on those also. So this Yadro is a very, very good brand. And if you guys remember back in another video, I did yard sales and dreams also sold some Yadro. And Donatella Bottolino had a selling event the other night and she was selling some Yadro at her selling event. So definitely a bolo item to be on the lookout for. Okay, um, the last item is this little frog. It is a Dom France Pot de Verre, probably totally said that wrong, small frog on a lily pad. It's signed with the box. They got this at an estate sale for 300. Oh, nope. They bought it for 90 and sold it for $399.99. Can anybody guess who bought the frog? They paid 90. Yep, you got it. Toledo Antique. Like I said, they pay up for their items, but. They also sell their items for big bucks. So it's definitely um, 
They're definitely, they do a good job of knowing when to pay up. All right, you guys. Again, if you're interested in being a part of memberships, you can go down to the bottom of this video and you can click join. If you're on your phone, you'll have to go into the description of the video and click on the link. Um, I think, I think you have to do it that way. You know, or you can just go to a laptop or desktop. I'd love it if you joined. And if not, no worries. I'm just thankful that you're checking out the videos and watching. And be sure to subscribe to everybody that is taking part in this video. Again, they are Bolo finders. They are all resellers. They are all working really, really hard to grow their channels, grow their eBay stores. So take a minute to check out the description and give them a follow, a sub, check out their eBay stores. And thank you all again so much for watching, for being here. I appreciate you all so much. This video is long. Um, so yeah, it's a long one. I'm like 48 minutes. I was kind of chatty. Sorry. Um, I did two for each person. So maybe, I don't know. I'd like to keep it at two. So let me know if you think, what, what do you think about the length of the video? If you made it this far, <laughs> ah, if you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. All right, you guys, you're awesome. Thanks for being here. Have a great evening, night, day. I don't know when you're watching this and thanks for watching.